Yeah, I, I want to take this opportunity to respond to some of the queries that uh, some of you have been asking me and uh, I wanted to clarify somebody asked me that how can you be able to use a smartphone for you to create uh, programs that can be able to help you to sharpen your knowledge in web development uh, course uh, for example internet based programming how can you be able to do some practice using a smartphone in case you are limited in one or another you don't have a laptop so there is opposition uh, opportunity for you to do this using your smartphone and therefore today i want to show you how you can be able to go about it so the first thing that you need to do is to go to your play store go to your play store and then i want to search um, an application called a code already it's seen at the top there so this is an application that can enable one to be able to create programs or internet based a code and you can see the way it is appearing it is here so a code has been installed already in my in my smartphone and therefore if you have not installed you just search there a code and then it will be able to provide you with that so after that you just click here to open so i'm opening the program it's loading and also showing everything so for example in this particular case i've already done some of this program so let me just start from scratch so this is the way it looks like it's your editor so this is our accord editor our accord editor looks like this now in this particular part if you click on these three bars at the top here it will be able to show the the folder so if you have created a folder for you to be able to store all the information or to store all the the program that folder will appear in that particular location now in case you do you want to rename a file in case you want to remain rename a file you click on on the pen icon here so this pen icon has got some file properties that got renaming syntax highlight it has got all those information that you want in this particular case now in case you want to create a new file i'm just showing you the same the, the way it has been organized or the parts of of this particular program so in case you realize that uh, you want to create a new program the next thing you need to do is to click on these three dots so we have got three dots at the top here so we have got uh, the new file we have save we have servers we have files we have closed we have open recent and so on and so forth so in case you want to create a new file you just click on new um, file and then you enter the file name so in case you want to enter the file name you click there maybe you just enter the first you just write the word there first so you write the word first dot html so that's the file that i want to create in this case then you click ok so that file is going to be stored in a folder so there is a folder that it is going to be stored in and if you want to find out where that file has been going it will be able to be visible as you will be able to save us so by the end of the day you'll be able to see where the file is going but in this particular case allow me to show you how you can be able to write a very simple program using this particular program so you just click here and you know the syntax of starting an html file so basically you need to type html so this thing is a program that is so much advanced with the autocomplete feature that allows you to be able to finish the the syntax so for example in this case it has been able to identify that this is the html document and therefore it is giving me the closing tag and then after that i want also to add the header the head and then you can be able to look at it and then you can just auto complete you can see how it is finishing up with me yeah, i'm finishing up the, the the program and then you go to the next one the, that is the title so you the title so basic syntax of html is to demonstrate that this program is really working and really helpful for beginners that is the beginners in programming then you can give it a name like um, first program so you can write there first program first program so we are going to write there first program and then after that we are going to go to our body section in the body section you start with the body tag so we're going to start with the tag here body tag so in a moment i start typing you can see it is having the autocomplete feature is really working and is really helping me 
to identify this particular uh, this you can see it is finishing out for me and then there i can just write a very simple statement by saying hello hello there hello there so that's the statement that i want to write in this case so i like yeah hello there and then i can put some exclamation marks because i expect a response so then after that you just uh click here to save us let's say where it is going so save us so it's going to tell you select the folder you select the folder yeah so you select the folder you go to add storage add a storage and then from that point you're supposed to select the 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 folder you want to store the information so for this particular case all my all my file is going to be stored in this folder of eee but if you want to create a new use and use this folder, you click here so that you can be able to uh, do that. But if you want to create a new folder, you click on this plus sign at the top here. So this one will enable you to create a folder inside this folder so that you can be able to store all of your information there. But for my sake, I want just to use this folder to store the information. So I'll just click use this folder and then I allow access to that particular folder. So already it has been mapped up and that is... I just click OK to continue with the with my coding uh, process. So after that, you just click OK, and then the, you are supposed to enter the file name. I've already given it a file name, and that is it. So it is saving the file, and then after that, you have been able to write your HTML file. You just click on the Run button. After the Pen tool, the next one is the Run button. So you click on it, and then it will allow you to to execute your program. So you can see it is displaying there powerfully, hello world, hello there. So if you want to go back, you just click on the, on the, on the, on the return button. So you click on the return button down there in your smartphone. So I click on the return button and then you go back to the program to continue making changes so that you can go to improve your program. In case you realize that uh, you want to add a CSS file, it is also possible. You just click on these three dots new file and then you give it a name for example you can give it a name like uh, styles.css you can just give it a name like styles styles.css so that's the name and then you click ok and then that file is appearing there with the icon for css meaning that it has already identified that this is a css file now for example you want also to add the javascript file you just click on these three dots you go to new and then from there you can just write the scripts script dot js so by default if you add that you can see the js icon is appearing there meaning that it is able to identify that this is a, a, J, a javascript file so that is it on how you can be able to use a code application for you to start your pro, uh, coding um, journey and therefore, I hope this video could, is, uh, has helped you to start your journey in web development. See you in my next in my next video on how you can be able to uh, continue using this particular application. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube cha channel so that when I create the next video, you'll be informed. Bye bye for now.